Well, folks, I'm going to tell you a story. This is Misty. She's eight years old. She was my foster dog three years ago. She came to us in June 2009. And she stayed with us until December 2009, when we found her a home. Misty had had a problem. Didn't she? You had a problem. She's moving around. She had a problem because she had bitten somebody and we weren't just sure how we were going to rehome her. But I found that the reason that Misty had bitten somebody was she's quite defensive about her bed. And uh, somebody approached her on her bed and she'd bit him. So, but anyway, when a dog bites somebody it's quite hard to get my phone at home. And um, eventually she was taken by my friend Lisa. Uh, now, Misty is... I would say fairly accident prone. There's a little bit missing off the end of her tail. She has only one eye and she's got scars on her face. It's on the downside of her face at the minute because she was bitten by a Great Dane quite seriously. Um, and now she has broken her leg. The bandage on the other leg is just a catheter but she's broken her leg quite seriously and she's here to be fixed by our vet. She's going for an operation on Wednesday. Robert's lying there you'll see. Quite friendly. And this is uh, Misty's toy which came with her. We gave it to her three years ago and she carries it round but she doesn't destroy it. I'll need to keep money away from that. Anyway she's going for an operation on uh, Wednesday and the leg is quite seriously injured in that it is the ulna that is broken that's the small bone in the leg the weight bearing bone is still intact but the bone that's broken is lying a piece at the end is lying at a right angle and they're not quite sure what they're going to do with it they've ordered plates and pins and things like that in case it needs to be done but greyhounds don't have very big bones and um, uh, they just don't know. The best thing would be that if the ligaments and things are still attached, they'll put the bone back upright and it will fuse with the other end of the bone. But uh, they just don't know. It may require plates, it may require the whole joint to be fused. Um, and uh, things can go wrong. So anyway, as time goes by, I'll let you know how Misty goes. She's going to be here for, I would say, quite some time. Danny's gone back temporarily to the kennels. He's quite happy. I saw him there this morning and he's, he's got uh, a nice bitch that he's going in with. So uh, he's going to be okay. He's a very lively dog and I didn't want him here because uh, Misty's got to be kept quiet. But I'll let you know how she goes.